Welcome back to the Rose Gallery. Today we're playing Death State, an auto shoot 'em up. You can see my big wins there. One. So we begin the game in the library where we can switch characters or we can view our records. None of it is too important though. What is important is this portal, which will take us into the death state. We get a random first level and we begin. So here's the deal with death state. It is an auto shooter. I am not pressing a button right now. All I am doing is moving around and my friend here is just shooting bullets. Some important things to note. You can see at the bottom left, there is a blue bar. That is my mana. I can use it to do a special attack like that. And I can pick up these blue crystals to get more. I can also kill enemies to get it. And we are very much in luck as there is a big chest here. It spawns a bunch of very tough enemies, but if we kill them, we might get some really good stuff. So the floor here is very slippery. I'm sliding around like crazy. This dude is not making it easy. Red gem is health, usually half health, but uh, sometimes full health if it's uh completely red and not just a gray circle around it. Let's see what we got. We got a relic, which it becomes an item in our slot that we can use. This one shoots ice missiles. We got a potion that is bad. And we got a book. Books are things that supplement your shooting. So this one will shoot two additional fireballs whenever I find enemies. Not too bad. Let's try this potion. This potion spawns enemies. Oh, and we have an organ. We pick these up. You can have, just like in real life, an infinite number of organs. And they are just general upgrades, usually. Some of them have drawbacks, but they always have something positive with them. Spawning the boss real quick. thinking I don't want that. The current relic I have is pretty good. Although this one is also good. It lets me see things, uh, expands the field of vision, if you will. It helps me find exits faster. So that's pretty useful. There's our exit. You might wonder if there's any sort of leveling up or any reason to kill enemies. And the answer is not really. Occasionally they drop gold or health, but there are no levels in this game. It's not like Vampire Survivors where you get stuff for killing enemies. Instead, your main way of powering up is searching through the level for treasure chests that hold relics or hopefully organs. The wide view does mess me up a little. So that red enemy is a, a boss enemy. And when you kill him, they'll usually drop something important. Usually an organ. What we 
got Hungry Heart, Max HP 1, and Better Luck. Not too bad. Looks like there's nothing over there, really. We got some more money. Shops are very infrequent in this game. Usually. Of course, because I said that, there's probably going to be a bunch, but hey. there wasn't anything else really interesting around, so let's just go through. We got a red guy. Rate of fire up is pretty good. There are different damage types, usually attached to uh, relics, books, or swords. Swords we haven't found yet, but they are another special thing that will alter your bullets. Hopefully we'll pick up one soon, So I'm feeling a little weak right now. HP and rate of fire up. That's pretty good. All right, looks like there's nothing over there. Relics do take a little bit to recharge, even if you have enough mana to use them. How long depends on the relic, really. a book. Alright, let's go to the left. I can survive. Let's see if this is better than our current book. So this one shoots fire. It uh, fires close range. I'm not sure if it's really better than what we have now. Double check real quick. Actually, I have to go into my inventory to check. So we get two fireballs. You know what? I'm sticking with uh, the first book. And now... For the fourth level, we get a boss. This guy's pretty easy. Like I said, not too bad. We got more HP, nice. All right, the floor is still slippery. I think it actually may be a thing with this specific character, which is unfortunate. And the book. Oh, hell yeah. Now this is what I'm talking about. This one fires at six extra foes. 
means I'm just shooting like crazy. A little more damage from that one. That's a full health. Let's grab that. Ooh, a horrific aspect stone. So this will change you into a different character. I was, in fact, correct. It is the prisoner, uh, the last character I was using. His thing makes him slippity slide around, which is pretty annoying, so I'm glad I got this new character. time here there is a mechanic where if you spend enough time in a level a very powerful enemy will show up and kill you i would like to get out of here please also fun note when you clear a level you get a uh, half health back or i should say actually one half of a health not half your health, one half of a health. You're getting a, l a little scary. Too many things on the screen. Still no sword. Bosses. Not too scary. my advice for any bullet hell game is focus on defense first. Don't worry about where your bullets are going, especially in this game, because you auto-aim. Always just focus on where the enemy's bullets are and getting out of the way. Oh, we've gone to a new area. Oh 
Shit, there's a sword. So now I fire in bursts and I fire plague bullets. Which I believe do damage over time. We got some more MP. These bad things are annoying because they will land on top of you if you don't keep moving. Exits over there. I don't see anything else cool around. Damage is always nice. Getting health just to lose it immediately. what this potion does. Alright, let's see what this potion does. It hurt me. Cool. So now we shoot ice, which uh, looks slightly worse. I feel like the plague bullets are probably better. sloppy.
screen going all crazy doesn't really help either. Alright, so the exit should be over here. Yep, there it is. Legally distinct beholders. So busy admiring them that I got hit. I've gone too deep. damage but unfortunately less speed which is okay I can live with that uh, nothing really around there let's just get out of here The blue arrows don't hurt you, they just indicate where the very fast shots are going to be. But yeah, like most bosses, this guy is very easy. last level. annoying to navigate actually. Filled with wizards. Kinda hoping there'd be help in that box. Ooh, there's a shop over there. And I have quite a bit of money. more health nice or I should say more health slots which will probably be very useful for the last boss the last boss is actually hard yeah I'm 
doing pretty good damage output. I can shoot a lot of things at once. I should be all set to beat the game. Just need to make sure I'm at full health. Step one right there. It's a mind player with a gun. I didn't even notice that guy before. Plain mind was not enough. I don't, I don't know if I like this bullet pattern. I like the plague bullets better. Sadly, you can only have one sword at a time and one book at a time. If you hadn't noticed. Uh, I definitely don't want the introvert potion. That's the one that makes my viewport very small. One more level. Not sure what hit me there. Well, this isn't great. is just what I needed. On top of my already absurd damage. Another introvert potion. It's the thing. He's on the title screen. Also notice how much damage I'm doing to him. It's pretty good. Getting hit by one of those black holes is almost an instant death, by the way. It does enough damage to kill you unless you have like 10 health. It's pretty silly. get hit by that attack, but it doesn't matter because my damage output was just so absurd that I killed him easily. Grab a little gold. A little bit. And that is the death state.
We got a score, a time. Every time you do a run, you unlock more stuff. And then we're back at the beginning. So yeah, that's it. It's uh, all right. I like it more than Vampire Survivors. It's still pretty brainless though. But that's the death state. I'll see you next time.